I was in the army for uh, 15 years in total. Uh, within those 15 years, I did uh, two operational tours of Kosovo, two operational tours of Iraq, and I did one operational tour of Afghanistan. First tour of Iraq was a, was a bit of an eye opener because that was the first time that I'd been away on operational tour and had been in situations where we had been shot at and we had the threat of IEDs. But the second tour of Iraq was a lot more intense. We were fighting insurgents that were, you know, they were laying kind of secondary devices, IEDs, and they were using RPGs, rocket propeller gr grenades. But like I say to everybody, Afghanistan finished me off because when I was in Afghanistan, I've never experienced so much death and so much hate. I lost a really good friend and colleague uh, when I was out in Afghanistan called uh, Zak Kuzak. Um, he lost his life to small arms fire. People say, well, you know, you kind of joined the army for this. And just, I didn't join the army for this. I joined the army to try and make a difference in people's lives, wherever that may be. Yes, thank you, my darling. Thank you. Yeah, that's my girl. That's my baby girl. Meet the footstep. Meet the footstep. Yes, she, yes, yes, she, she's my little baby girl. When, when people come to my home and they see these three glass cabinets full of um, 18 memorabilia, uh, you know, we always get the question of why, and I say, well, I didn't really have a fantastic childhood, but for an hour a week, I used to escape my surroundings and my environment and I would just completely indulge myself in, in the TV series, the 18. And it kind of um, it promoted a lot of kind of good morals and um, and all the rest of you know about helping people in need and stuff. And, and, I, and when I came back from Afghanistan, um, I started collecting them and I think the reason I did that was because I wanted to keep hold of something that was good in my life as, as, as a young boy. Because I think when I came back from Afghanistan, I lost a lot of faith in, in humanity and in life itself. So I, have, I surround myself with, with positive things and this is positive for me. So what does the love tag mean to me? It kind of represents a guy who was on the path to self-destruction and he just came through it by finding art and spreading the love with the love tag and everyone who ever comes across it it puts a big smile on the face incredible journey mate keep it up we all love you and this is it and i did this love tag about three and a half years ago three and a half years ago i did that and that was the very first one and now there's loads <laughs> The significance of the Marvel for me is hope, especially on the darkest day, because where there's hope, there's always love. My first stencil was made by Paul Wilcock, who was head of the Occupational Therapy Department Wood Workshop in Bordeaux Unit, Brooklyn Hospital. Um, and it was the same Paul that encouraged me to whilst I was in hospital to use art as therapy. So I just thought, you know what? What am I gonna base it on? And I thought, all the kind of hate and the death and the sadness that I've seen over the years. I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna base something, I'm gonna base it on the word love because I think the world's gone backwards when it comes to how we show love to each other and you know, um, and we should be going forward. So it's, what I do is just, I'm just putting a reminder out there. So when people see the love tag, hopefully it makes them think of their own lives um, and what it means to them. I was introduced to Jay through a friend on Facebook who lives in Liverpool and I live in the United States. One of the best moments for me was when we went out to Wroclaw in Poland with Jay. Uh, we'd done quite a few tags around the city. But there's one in particular that he did next to this uh, old church. He'd just done the tag and then we were just uh, having a chat about it in the car and wondering where to go next. And we saw this couple came up and they were admiring the sort of architecture and then they'd spotted the love tag and, and then they were both getting the pictures took 
next to it. And Jake loved that. I mean, that was a, a, a great sort of moment in the trip. Um, and it showed exactly what he wanted to do. <laughs> so it, that was brilliant. Love forever. What are you doing? and I'm here to tell you what Love Art Global means to me. Um, Love Art Global is very close to my heart. Um, I've known Jay for years and I've just watched how Love Art Global and the, his love of art has really helped him. Initially, it was a hobby for him. It was something to help him cope with his PTSD. It was therapy. Now it's his passion. It's his drive. He gets up in the morning and he feels focused. He wants to go out there. He wants to spread the love. He wants to get his story told, and he is. His social media profile has amazed me how he's got himself out there so much, and I'm so proud of what he's become and where he's taken Love Art Global. I know it's just gonna go even further because he's got that passion for it, and he wants to spread the love, and he has been spreading the love all over the UK. 